Feels good when I'm working out. Feels good when I'm working out. Fit in DC. Feels good when I hit the streets. I jog through the city. My blood starts pumping. I'm looking at the pretty lady. Now my heart's jumping. I start breathing better. Clear my mind up. Relieving all the stress. Knowing that I'm blessed. I can think better. I can jump higher. Reaching all my goals. Yeah. Feels good when I'm working out. Feels good when I'm working out. Fit in DC. Feels good when I'm working out. Feels good when I'm working out. Fit in DC. Feels good when I'm working out. Feels good when I'm working out. Fit in DC. This week, Fit in DC goes over the bridge east of the river in communities that are not as gentrified as the rest of the city. To gain some perspective, traveling to a community garden to connect the dots from fitness and nutrition to the garden, I scheduled to meet up with Master Gardener Xavier Brown to get his insight on fitness, and I was thrown in front of the camera myself. My homeboy Matt Gaither, yeah. urban farmer, he's a father, gardener, video producer, writer, fitness fanatic, and so he's been influential in helping me put together videos for Soulful, um, and he's been kind of putting together some children's kind of media about gardening, about education, so I just wanted to get his voice, he's usually behind the camera, but I just wanted to quickly get his voice, put him in front of the camera, like what he's doing with Jelly Vision, you know, um, man, what you see for Jelly Vision, and how just your, your passion for the youth, your daughters, and gardening, um, is like pushing Jelly Vision and fitness. Okay. Well, you know, it all starts with the youth because they're the future. And, uh, you know, they're going to carry on everything that they see. So we got to give them the proper tools. And, and, and um, it starts with education. And so um, here with gardening, that's, that's everything. You know, it, you get your meditational your aspects and then you get your nutritional values from your gardening. You know it's organic. You know what you're putting in your food, things of that nature. And you start your kids off young like that. You know, they get so much from that and they, they start, you know, they have this fulfillment when they're doing it. You know, it's, it's enrich, it's, it's like enrichment, like I said, and it's also about educating the youth. And um, then you have to have the balance. So that's where my fitness comes in. So, you know, a lot of people tend to say I'm all over the place, but I mean, life is, is about balance. You know, it's not, life is not just, just one thing. You know, you have work, but then you have family. So you have to have the proper balance. So, you know, the gardening, you know, you just have to connect the dots. And so, you know, I've, I've gotten with Xavier and we, we've kicked it off from school on to life. And I mean, things are happening just like with, um, with this, these, uh, these plants in the garden, it just grows. <laughs> between fitness and DC majority of the majority of the time when you're in DC you have to walk to where you're going and you have bike lanes and things that re really encourage you to stay healthy and to get involved in the new fitness lifestyle um, why do I work out because I don't want to die too early I don't trust the pharmaceutical companies to take care of me I don't trust this government to be my true doctors, so I take what I can control, which is my everyday lifestyle, by trying to eat healthy. I mean, sometimes I do good, some days I don't. Try to work out at least three times a week and do things that are fun. Fitness means to me um, independence, freedom, taking action. <laughs> It's something, something small that I can do. And like right now, I surround, surround myself with people who are in better shape than me. 
and I kind of try to mimic what they're doing and it's kind of motivation to make myself better like people who go ride 10 miles to see the Chesapeake Bay and the local watersheds I'm not there yet right now but as I go to the gym I'm going to build up my capacity so by next year I'll be ready to really see more than what I'm seeing on bike trails who got you into fitness I pray. <laughs> I pray for health. So it's an action I take in order to really let that show that I really want to take care of my health. Gentrification. Um, there's more bike lanes in D.C. <laughs> um, I can say that since the, the environment has changed due to gentrification. Fitness is important because at the end of the day, it's your body. I mean, it doesn't matter how fly your shoes are, doesn't matter how cute your hair is or how much money you have, you cannot buy health. So health really is wealth. And it doesn't matter how much money you have to break down and do some push-ups or go run around the block. Say what, say what, Shorty Corleone. It's all about doing something, being active, making sure you're getting out here, you know, 30, 30 minutes to an hour a day, some type of physical activity, get the heart rate moving, you know what I'm saying, for you and your family, you know, changing up the diet a little bit. But like I want to say, when you get your day started, just when you go out and you look around, there's a lot of movement happening. You know, it's easy, just get involved, and they're keeping it real simple, you know, just doing something. 30 minutes to an hour a day. Feels good when I'm working out. Feels good when I'm working out. Fit in DC. Feels good when I hit the streets. I jog through the city. My blood starts pumping. I'm looking at the pretty lady. Now my heart's jumping. I start breathing better. Clear my mind up. Relieving all the stress, knowing that I'm blessed, I can think better. Um, what is the correlation between fitness and D.C.? So, um, on the national level, D.C. is ranked as the fittest city in the country. But also, kind of on a very local, local, uh, myopic level, there's certain areas in the city that have super high rates of diabetes and high blood pressure. So, I think it's... Um, it's kind of a misnomer to call D.C. the you know, fittest city in the country when there's areas where people are really unhealthy. I do my work to uh, kind of connect people and uh, um, kind of liberate black people, really liberate the earth, and to connect these all these intersecting dots and strings that I kind of visualize out here. So fitness means um, really taking care of your body, definitely, but also taking care of your mind, uh, taking care of your mind and your spirit as well. So you got you can't be just... 
strong but have a weak mind. It can't be have a weak mind in a weak spirit. So you got to have kind of like the combination of all three. So have everything in a holistic way. Yes, I've made fitness part of my lifestyle. Um, I work out like three days a week, three to four days a week. Um, I just want to stay in shape, stay healthy. I got sick one time. I had a kidney stone. And so um, like being fit and being in shape, you know, having endurance just for the journey that we on, got to be resilient and being in shape uh, is, is a big part of that. Not, you know, um, dying from diet related illnesses and stuff like, or eat, you know, diet related illnesses are really knocking a part of, knocking a lot of people off, definitely African Americans for sure. Um, so, gentrification has played a big, has a big impact in fitness. There's way more gyms in the city, there's way more opportunities to get fit. And also, you see that um, in War 7 8 in DC, where the majority of black people are, there's no gyms. You know, no uh, private gyms in War 7 and 8. And so gentrification has really made that evident in the city. And so uh, fitness is important um, to stay healthy and live a good life. Now, you got to be in, you know, halfway decent shape just to have a good, a good life, you know. Um, so, yeah. You work out and do yoga. I see you got the mat. I couldn't help but notice you had I your... I exercise, too. Oh, you, you in the work... You do, but you work out? Huh? You work out? The reason why I ask is because I'm doing a, uh, a fitness documentary in D.C., you know, trying to correlate, you know, just fitness in D.C., why people in D.C. work out and everything like that. Right. So mm -hmm. I was just trying to get some insight on, on some people. Okay, okay. Uh -huh. Well, that's what this, this doc, my documentary is targeting people kind of like 30 and up, you know what I mean? Okay. All right, man. It's going to be called Fit in D.C., though. Being from the city, that's all we did was play ball and work out and got a little older. Spiritual reasons, because God wants you to keep your, your, your mind together, your body out. Physical reasons, as you know, that helps you feel better. Yeah, this is the jelly reason for you. Yo, Ed, Uzi, Ed, the toe, so you know I'm getting close. If I you don't get a big one,